to my YouTube channel. This is my dog Coco. She's in the video today, so please don't pay her no mind. But she is relaxing. You hear me? She is having a good time, stretched out. So I'm gonna leave her to it. But anyway, you guys you know what I like to do first and foremost. I like to give you guys a shout out and say thank you so much for supporting me, subscribing to my channel, and watching my videos. I am now monetized, you guys. So moving forward, I would really like 100% of support from you guys to really watch the ads make sure you're not skipping through i feel like you know being a youtuber we take so much time to dedicate the contents for you guys to watch edit all that that takes so much time and i just feel like a two minute 30 second ad is not long to just watch you could just put the phone down and literally just come back to the video if that's something that you're into or just watch the ads. Some ads be very interesting. I don't know what type of ads will be on there. I just know that they give you an option of having split ads where it's like in a beginning or end or something like that. So I really hope that the ads is not really so long that it bore you guys out and not watch the complete video because I still would love to have 100% of you guys focus and support. So anyway, you guys, I know you wanted me to do a Jamaican vlog, and I did not forget that at all. It was just very, very, very difficult to record when Jamaica is still on an 8 o'clock curfew. And on top of that, when you enter Jamaica, especially if you're not um, like from there or live there or anything like that, you do still have to self-quarantine. So even though they make you take the COVID test before you come, yes, even if your trip is less than 14 days you still have to self quarantine those 14 days where you have to download the jam covid 19 app and do a self checkup every day <laughs> the whole entire time that you're there so it was very difficult to leave the house and record or anything like that because we weren't well we wasn't outside the house for that long and um on top of that if we did have like a lot of rain well, a couple days of rain, so where, you know, we didn't do anything. I do have some clippings where I recorded, like, the process at first, and then, like, the drive, because uh, this was my first time going to Keystone, you guys, and then also, like, the soccer field, uh, when I went to the river, so if you guys want that in one clipping, I will break it down and cut it down and put it in one clipping, hopefully, it's interesting enough to keep you guys attention but anyway moving on so i am doing a covid haul video you guys i'm sorry that i like just am slacking at recording but more so i really don't record as much just because of health reasons i try to record as often as i can i'm trying to get in the motions you guys with recording as much content as I'm able to because that's something that I really want to pick up back more so on my channel so you guys I want you guys to stay tuned stay tuned <laughs> to the next video uh, which will be the clothing haul if you guys have any questions about the vlog or basically um the process please let me know comment down below and I will specifically reach out to you guys to give you the whole process if you are new to my channel please subscribe also you guys i really want the support with um you guys following my ig it's just dominica honus i really want the support so i can get featured eventually on she and or sheen sites um or Instagram, IG, I don't know you guys, I'm trying to get out there, that's all I wear in Shein, so I really would like the support from you guys, my fans, my biggest supporters, because you are subscribed to my channel, and I so appreciate it, because like I said, I'm on the side now, so yeah, so on to the next video, you guys. Alright you guys, so I'm back with the first outfit. And this is a two-piece pant set that is in a size 4X. And I just really thought it was just, you know, something to buy for the different types of weather that you might have. So you can look cute, but dress down while looking cute at the same time. So that's a 
technically why I bought it. I do have to say that the top is a little bit big, but it's, it's not that noticeable, especially if you wear a bra with it or if you're going to do like one of those bralettes. I just have, you know, a bra on just, you know, for video sake. I normally don't wear bras, you guys, but, you know, for this, I probably will do like a bralette type of, um, you know, to give me some more support. This do come with pockets on both sides, and it's the full X, but as you can see, it's still fitted to me. It's not that much of a stretch, but I'm not uncomfortable. So, you know, it's, it's fitted to my body because I have a shape, whatever, but I'm not uncomfortable. Now, I will say the disappointing factor of this is this cheap belt that comes with it that you just have to you know like wrap around because it doesn't necessarily support anything and also that she and to me as a little backwards because they will give you everything that you're looking for in the front for his pockets and a belt sometimes let's just say sometimes but then when you turn around to the back you know i because i have butt back here you're going to see my underwears. So it's just like, oh, uh, <laughs> so unsatisfying. But it do look nice. It's very simple. Something that you could just throw on. I mean, I will figure out like how I will want. Maybe I can, you know, get a button well you know like one of these hooks added on or something like that to kind of give me some more support to pull this up because that's just really where i need the support at is here not necessarily here but it would be nice if they added one in the back or two i don't know what's wrong with them that they don't do that and the shirt is a little bit big but like i said it's not noticeable enough for you to like you know be all crazy about and oh, you guys, it do come with pockets here, which is nice because it's really, really deep. It doesn't have a button to it, but obviously you can put your phone or something in there and just put it down. So that's nice. I like the color. I like the fact that it's a mint um, green. So I don't really have much else to say about this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and come closer, you guys. As you can see, it is big here, but if you pull it down, it's not that bad. So, you guys, I'm on to the next outfit. All right, you guys, so I'm back with outfit number two, and this is a 3X turtleneck jumpsuit. It's a one piece, of course, and it's so simple so I know this clipping is not really going to be that long you guys it do have a little bit of detailing where it got um, a V cut that showcased like where your um, boob supposed to be at it's really really stretchy but it's also thin material you guys this is going to show everything keep in mind that if you have a gut, stomach, fupa, whatever you want to call it, it's going to show everything. And it is a little bit see-through. I do have black, um, uh, a black bra on and a black um, girdle type of underwear that I have on. And it still, to me, seem a little bit see-through-ish. But I like it. It was really simple, you guys, that I just wanted to throw something on. A lot of times when I get outfits like this, you guys, it's for travel purposes, but it's just literally to freshen up, look cute, you know, and throw something on and kind of dress down in a way. So when I wear stuff like this or get something that's real simple like that, this is my dress down outfit. This is not something that needs to be dressed up. This will be my dress down outfit to just lounge around on or just go to a store run or something like that. This is what this outfit is. 
It do come with a zipper and a bag, all the way that you have to zip it up all the way to the neck where the turtleneck falls, which is not a high tur turtleneck, but it is a turtleneck form. It's a little loose, but it don't need to be tight anyway because this still is like a summer like material so it don't need it to be tight but it's very comfortable honestly even though the material is very thin and it's see-throughish it is comfortable and i'm comfortable with myself so like my stomach area like i'm okay with it showing like i do wear like my girdle underwears a lot so it just kind of suck in a little bit of it to not make my stomach look so bloated and out but besides that I like it. It's very simple and I'll just go ahead and turn around so you guys can see. Really bright, right? <laughs> so I'm going to come a little closer. So I love the simple detail. I love the fact that this is still a bright orange, but it's darker than this orange, which kind of highlighted, which is it's very nice and it go all the way around so I like it you guys very simple something to just throw on so it's not much that I could really say about it so you guys I'm on to the next clip then all right you guys so I'm back with outfit number three and this is a romper you guys a whole piece romper and I do have to say that this outfit is disappointing. I'm really going to have to get this outfit altered if I really, really want to wear it. So one, this is in a size 3X. And literally the sleeves, like, is already big. Which is not that bad because it comes with, like, a little scrunch at the end. So, like, if you wanted to, you could just fold this up or whatever. And this would have really, really been cute, you guys, but this is not, like, this is so much rum. I don't have enough cleavage to fill it in, like, at all. So, it's very droopy, and literally, I just, before I press the record on here, I had to, like, place it together so it won't show my boobs, like, honestly. I do love the pattern, you guys. I love the color of it. I love the fact that it's very stretchy, yes. And, you know, and it's rummy. Like, I don't want nothing super tight. But I feel like if I'm going to wear, I do want it to fit me enough where I'm not pulling it up or keep trying to secure the, the top of it. Yeah, I could just put a little safety pin there. But for me, I probably most likely would just get it altered up with some of the material just taken out of it versus having to do that because I do like to show my cleavage part area. I have a tattoo right there, my psycho tattoo, so yes, I like to show it off. And I do feel like I need to get this, you know, altered as well. Him, him, well, him will be more so like, I guess, but whatever. Altered as well to just not have it falling completely off and like I said, it's really thin material. It's like a polyester material, but it's not thick. So you will be comfortable in it. If you do have more cleavage than me, this will be for you in a size 3X. But I literally could have gotten this in a size 2X and I would have been comfortable with it. But I'm happy I got the 3X for my bottom because I don't like anything tight or too fitted onto me because I already have enough shape as it is. So I don't need to have it super, super glued tight to my body. But it's nothing much that I really have to say about it. So I'll just go ahead and turn around, you guys. And like it has extra material right here, which I don't really like. So this is not my favorite at all i'm going to come closer so you guys can see it's really really rummy but it's rummy in all the wrong places that i would like it to be but the pattern and the color is an a plus for me the fit of it is just yeah i will probably give this a three star for the fit of it because 
with she gang, I don't know what they do. They give you, they want you to pick your side thing, but sometimes it's too big. Then sometimes it's too tight. I just really wish it could stick to the same type of measurements for, you know, us plus size, honestly. But anyway, don't really have much to say about it. That's just my honest opinion. So you guys, I'm on to the next video. All right, you guys, so I'm back with outfit number four, and this is a three-piece jumpsuit, all black, you guys. I, If you do follow me along on my sheet and haul videos, you guys, I honestly love picking out an all-black outfit or either black or white. That's just something I go to. That's still, still one of my favorite things that I will wear. But honestly, too, I do love colors. You guys, this is a simple, another one of those throw-on simple outfits. So, it's very fitted as well. And it's, it's rummy, but it's still really fitted to your body. So, to me, again, this will be one of those things that shows everything. Like, for us in your stomach area or your arms anything that you might feel crazy about is going to show but again i'm not crazy about it because i feel like i still look good i could dress it up or down but most likely of course i would dress it down because like i said this is just a throw on outfit where i put some tennis shoes on with it and you know just be on on my way lounge around type of thing it's really cute you know because they do have the zipper in the front that you know come about here and you know you give a little bit of sex appeal with showing just a little bit of cleavage at the end of the day you don't want to show too much of course but I feel like you know it do give you that off to just kind of make this outfit still sexy because it's so plain so it's really stretchy again I don't really have much to say about it because it's just an all black one piece it don't have no detail into it except the zipper that's in the front and the sleeves is a little bit long though but other than that i feel like i can roll this up and it's not a big deal at least i do have a lot of room to roll up you know in my sleeve you know my, where my um, arms are because my arms tend to sometimes feel or be bigger than some of the outfits where it's just like extra tight but this is not tight at all it's really really comfortable so this is the a plus for me on that side of it but it's just a simple outfit so i don't really have much to say either you know really good or bad except that it is still see-through you're still going to see everything because it's thin material but other than that it still will go so i'll just go ahead and turn around you guys And I'm going to come a little closer so you guys can see. So plain. Don't really have to say much. And yeah, I mean, on to the next outfit, you guys. All right, you guys. So I'm back with outfit number five. This is a simple two-piece skirt set that's in a size 3x you guys yes it is a rainbow because i love everything about the rainbows so i definitely had to get it you guys something simple that you could throw on pick whatever color you want out of it and throw some shoes on knowing me i just will pick one solid color um most likely the one that's darker which it got red in it that probably will be my color what i initially will wear with it it do have yellow, which is cute. Like, it just has so many colors that you could pick from. So, you can't necessarily go wrong with it. It was a little bit big at the top, you guys. So, that's initially why I did tie it. I feel like the shirt was overshadowing the skirt. Because the skirt is already big itself. So, you know, the shirt to me was just like over the skirt. So, I just thought it would be much cuter if i tied it so this is how i will wear it 
you do not have to wear it like that this is a stretchy material but i'm happy that i did get this in a size 3x you guys like i said i have enough body so to me i'm not going to get something that's super glued to my body at least it's still comfortable but it also still shows my curves at the end of the day it's uh basically come down just above your knees a little bit which is still fine it's long but it's nice i do feel myself keep pulling it up a little bit in the back area because it is a little bit rummy so for me i want to wear it high waisted if you can understand that reason um it's not much that i have to say it don't come with any pockets no zipper or anything like that it's just a simple throw on outfit and that's really what i wanted to get like i said because i will be taking most of these outfits with me when i do initially go to jamaica again it's just to throw it on to be comfortable and cute at the same time i always feel cute in everything that i wear so for me this is the a plus i will go ahead and do a turnaround for you guys very simple so let me go ahead and come closer so colorful that it's like <laughs> yes hypnotizing you guys in a camera so colorful and i like the fact that it is real bright and colorful at the same time so this is a plus for me like i said very simple not much to really give uh you know too much detail review but it's simple i like it this is the goal for me so on to the next outfit you guys all right you guys so this is the next outfit you guys so this sheet and clothing haul you guys is a mixture of everything so i just seen this dress and literally i just had the idea of wearing this dress with some kind of like winter boots on and yeah like you know still looking cute this is in a size 3x you guys so it is a little bit baggy with the sleeves but i don't feel like it's a big deal you could kind of like roll it up a little bit it was a little bit baggy in the front you guys but what i did it comes with a string you guys like in the back that you have to tie so what I did, I just crisscrossed it a little bit in the back and brought the, the string to the front to add some tightness to my waist area. Now, ultimately, I do feel like I would get it altered just enough for my sizing because it's not so big, but it is a little bit big. But I do feel like, you guys, if I would have gotten a 2X, um honestly like right here in the armpits area the arms kind of would have been a little bit tight so i'm happy that i did get a 3x in size up to get more rum in my arms i i don't really have much you know clean with you guys so it's just like honestly if i get a size up i'm going to lose out on something so just keep in mind on that I do have waist and you know thighs and hips and stuff like that so for me the 3x would have been perfect here but then my waist area is smaller so I have extra material there my cleavage is smaller so I have extra material here so uh, that's why I said ultimately I am going to most likely get it um, altered so I can be more comfortable with it without having to tie this in the front because the detailing to this you guys is open in the front and it's open in the back but since i tied it it's not as open in the back which is still fine other than that i just i just like the fact that it's just was so flowy and the fact that i basically you know like can dress down with it even though it's like a material that looks like you should wear heels with it if you just wear like some winter um ankle boots on i feel like this is definitely a go uh it is shorter in the back but i do feel like 
it's shorter right now because I did ultimately tie it in the front and but maybe it's just like that maybe it's like the front is longer and then the back is shorter i don't really know because looking at it it looked like it's just uneven or it could be you guys because i have a butt let's just be honest about that and that's most likely how far is rising up but i can say you guys because i tied it in the front it did bring up some of the material so I'm gonna turn around you guys. So if you see, this is the back part that's supposed to show the opening, but this is the zipper part right here. And yeah, it's rummy here. And then because I crisscrossed it and tied it around to the front, it, you know, boarded up some. Very simple dress. I could just come closer to you guys so you can see. Really ultimately, I know, I don't know why I keep saying ultimately really i know that i will have to get this altered because i don't like the fact that it is material here and i need to literally tie this in the you know back so i'm just going to show you guys this is how it's supposed to be tied in the back so your back most likely is going to be out and to me this is something that you really shouldn't or you can wear a bra with or you don't really have to wear a bra with it because your bra is going to be showing in the back so if you're comfortable like me i don't mind not wearing a bra but like i said i do still have to get this altered to fit me more fitted and you know perfect so you guys i don't really have nothing else much to say about this outfit so you guys on to the next one all right you guys so this is the next outfit this is a skirt set you guys this is in a size 4x you guys and i read the reviews on this and a lot of people had commented and said size up because the top was too small or too fitted. So it was like either or. And I am happy that I did size up and didn't get a 3X because honestly, if I would have gotten a 3X, this would have been more fitted and tight to my body. Now I can say with getting the 4X, it is still rummy where I do still have extra material so if i am to wear this i do feel like you know maybe a wash or two would definitely shrink it or i could just still get to get it altered just to fit my waist because my waist you guys is really really you know like it's really small you guys like honestly and this is too much material that's not hugging onto anything so I know I turned around too early, you guys, but honestly, I thought this was really, really cute. It's winter, but it's still, you know, give a cute vibe off, like still a good on a plane type of outfit if you're traveling to where I go all the time, which is Jamaica, because my boyfriend is there. So literally, I can go and wear this in January, February, March, or whatever like that, and not really feel so hot with it on. Now, of course, I would not wear this together in the summertime if I really wanted to wear this separately. It come with two zippers on the side, which is really, really cute, you guys. <laughs> I don't know necessarily what it's for. Am I supposed to unzip it and wear it open? I don't know, like why is it there? But it was unique that they did it that way. It's long sleeve. It's kind of like a um, sweatpants type of outfit. I guess you would say what, like polyester or I don't know, something. But it's like that type of material. And it's plain in the front. And I think what initially caught my attention was the design on the side. So the side and back, you guys, I really just think that that was what caught my attention and it comes with a slit as well so i just 
I really like it, you guys. Even though, like I said, it's simple, but I really do like it. So I'll turn around, you guys, so you guys can see. So plain. And then, boom. You got a nice design. It would have been nice if they kind of made the skirt maybe this pattern, like with the design all. I don't know. Maybe that, I, I don't know. <laughs> maybe that would be too much. But honestly, I like it. I think it's simple enough to throw on. But I do still feel like it's cute to put, you know, it on for your on the plate outfit. I'm big with on the plate outfits, you guys. So I always will bring it up and mention that. So I don't really have much else to say. Let me come closer. All I can say, you guys, is please read the reviews when it's time to really check out for these outfits. Because had I not read the reviews, I would have stuck with the 3X. And then the 3X would have been too fitted on me where I feel like I did not have enough room. So I did size up to a 4X, which is not normally my size. But in this type of material and, you know, the way that they made this, the 4X is perfect for me. So, on to the next outfit, you guys. All right, you guys. So, this is the next outfit, you guys. And let me come back. This is the pants set, you guys. This is a size 3X, I believe. So, you know, I do have to go with gray and black and white and stuff like that. So this initially is what attracted me to this outfit. I do love the fact that it is off the shoulders. And, you know, it just gives like a cute sex appeal and simpleness at, at the same time. It's a pants set, so most likely you're going to throw on tennis shoes. If you want to throw on some sandals or like some wedge little shoes and stuff, you could also do that just to kind of dress it up just a little bit with some nice hoop earrings, your hair, any kind of way you want to do it. And I feel like this is just like still cute, but simple. And for me, I picked this outfit because I was more so focused on the on a plane um, outfit more so than just something that I would wear around. Now I can say that it still is stretchy, you guys, but honestly, I really would, um, I think at the time when I ordered this, it was no reviews, so I did stick with the normal sizing of a 3X, which I wish I would have sized up to a 4X because as you can see, you guys, it is really fitted to my legs, you guys. And I have bigger thighs and legs than most of the body parts on my, on my side. So for me, the 4X would have given me enough off and rum to feel more comfortable with the way the fit is here. It's just like, like I said, it's one of those outfits that you damn if you do, damn if you don't type of thing because with Shein, you think that you bam, getting your good size and then the top fits perfect. And then here it is, the bottom does not really fit like a 3X. It still fits to me like a 2X. So just keep in mind that if this is something you will want to wear, please size up to a 4X in this. Yes, it might be a little big with the top area, but you could go ahead and get that altered. But ultimately, you want the bottom to fit perfectly. With this being, you know, tight, well, tighter, I wouldn't even say tight hair. It's just more so my thighs. But once again, here go one of these situations where, you know, your underwear will show if I guess like because I wear more so like the girdle underwear so I would definitely have to switch it up with wearing something you know not so high waisted that way it won't show too much in the back but given the fact that if I would have got in a 4x in this at least I could have pulled this up just a little bit more I can pull it up but it's not as rummy as I would like it to be it's a cute nice simple you know, tennis shoe type of wear outfit for me, but that is the downside is that the bottoms fit too tight in my opinion. 
it fits like a 2x not really a 3x that gives you enough room to move around like i said i mean it's okay but i am not as comfortable with this as i would be if i would have gotten a full x so i'll go ahead and turn around And I'll come close to you guys. Very simple, like the pattern on the side. Like I said, the top fix fit perfect, but the fact of the matter that the bottom does not really fit. So to me, of course, I would just have to lose some, you know, pounds in order for it to fit perfectly, or ultimately I just won't be wearing it. Either or. But anyway, you guys, on to the next outfit. Alright you guys, so I'm back with another, the next outfit, and yes, I'm back with another black and white outfit, you guys. That's just my go-to, so don't come for me. That's what I will go to, first and foremost. And I just thought that it was so simple and cute, a nice little two-piece black and white outfit that you could just, you know, throw on with some little, you know, short wedges and, or high wedges or tennis shoes. Like, this is why I get outfits like this. I always think of the possibility of not always having so many outfits that is dressed up. I always think of the possibility when I'm traveling that I will have downtime where I just need to throw an outfit on. So I do get outfits like this all the time. It's very simple, cute, throw it on, you're good to go. Now, of course, the front did not come like this. This is a size 3X, you guys, but I do feel like it was a lot of material to me that overshadowed the skirt. So I don't like it like that. So I will always tie it in the front. That's just me per se. It was a little bit baggy too as well. So tying it in the front gave me more of a fitted you know, fit to my, my body, basically, or my cleavage area. This is still so stretchy, even though this is a size 3X, you guys. Like, honestly, like, look at all this material. It's still fitted to my body, but it's not something that is tight and drowning out, you know, the whole outfit because it's so tight. It looks like it's tight because I have, like, a shape or whatever, but honestly, you guys, I'm so happy that I stuck with the 3X on this because it just gave me more rum and comfortability. It do come with like the black and white design on the side, well, or white design on the black because this is necessarily all black. So it just gives it like a little, you know, touch of design and simpleness and you're on the go. Don't really have much to say about it just say that i do like it i will keep it because this is my go-to what i pack in my suitcase so let me go ahead and turn around for you guys and let me come a little closer like i said very 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 stretchy course i always tie that's just my thing you guys don't have much else to say about this you guys so on to the next outfit you guys i'm coming down to the final outfit so yeah we getting down to the wire we're on to go you guys so stay tuned All right, you guys, so this is outfit number 10, and I am going to stop the video at number 10. I did have about three more pieces for this haul, but because I don't want the video to be extremely long, I'm going to stop it at number 10, and then I will just show those outfits on another haul. So this is a two-piece short set. In a size 3X, you guys, I feel like what really attracted me to this outfit was the fact that, the, you know, the cutout sleeve, the fact that the color, <laughs> this purple, I thought was really, really, you know, because it looked pinkish purple. I thought that was the, you know, type of look that I will wear. 
I do feel like, you know, it's a, of course it's a simple outfit once again. And it still is stretchy. I did tie the strains really, really tight. You guys, it do come with a strain that is tieable, which is really, really nice because sometimes they have a strain attached to it, but it's just for design purposes. The top, of course, is big, you know, but I don't feel like it's bad to go with it because of the look with the sleeves being out. Necessarily, I'm not going to tie it up <laughs> as I would do any of my outfits. But it feels winter-like and also, you know, a hint of spring-ish. Because to me, I, I mean, you could throw this on in the summer, but I feel like you could throw this on like early summer versus in mid-August or something like that. You're going to be burning up because the type of material it is is very polyester and it feels like that, you know, um, sweatpants type material but it's not so thick. So I guess you can go with it or probably not because you know, if you sweat or something like that, this will not be the outfit for you. You just wanna probably do match and match and wear the shorts with another um, sh up top. It is how I said I did pull it up um, because these shorts was really, really big, but once I put it on and tied it, it just became fitted, but you can see that you know, it do have like extra material here at the end of the day. So it just kind of look like I have an extra or bigger <laughs> stomach or poop or whatever you want to call it. But other than that, I'm not disappointed with this outfit also. Like I said, it's simple, but it's something that you could just throw on, put some tennis shoes on and you're good to go. So for me, I will keep this outfit because this was kind of the look that I was going for for days that is not so hot, but not cold either. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn around. And I'm get closer, you guys. Such a beautiful color. I think this really is what drew me to this outfit because it's really, really purple. And it's a light purple and it's a, a little darker purple with the string. But you guys, I just really thought that that was just a pop to me. And that's why I went with this outfit. I can say, you guys, this haul was not my favorite haul that I have done. I do have a couple outfits in there that I would just be like, yeah, I could throw that on. Put that on, take it with me when I go to the plane or even wear here in Arizona due to the fact that Arizona is always hot. But... This wasn't my favorite where I like every outfit in this haul, and that's okay. That's the whole point of even doing these videos so you can get an idea of what you like and what you don't like and what will fit you, you know, compared to my body size. That's why I do this, you guys. I love what I do. I love modeling clothes in front of you guys. Let me know, you guys, what, like, what haul you will want me to do next. I don't really have much to add to my channel except what i'm already doing i'm not a challenge type of person but i did want to since my son is here with me to do like the um spicy noodle challenge so i might do that on my channel next and i wanted to do like you know just like a couple things with him to add him onto my channel so you guys can see him today is 11 18 2020 you guys and today is my son's birthday his name is Warren please give him a shout out down below because this video is made on the day that he was born so he is 14 and yeah it's like I'm so happy to be spending his birthday with him you guys um make sure you comment below I will let him know that everybody said happy birthday so I'm going to come closer, you guys, because this is exactly what I do. I get closer to see you guys more closer, and that way you can see my face and everything, you guys. Um, Let me go ahead and showcase my tattoo, you guys. 876, which represents the area code from Jamaica. And I do have a new tattoo on my face that says, Stay Strong. Stay Strong, but what you guys really cannot see as much so I will be getting this tattooed again to make it darker. I wanted a sideburn 
tattoo so that's initially why i got it so it wasn't more so like i just really wanted a face tattoo no i don't want nothing initially on my face per se but i wanted a sideburn tattoo so that's why i put it there and i wanted a neck tattoo which has the jamaican flag right here which is just in black ink and then 876 which represent the area code so you guys i don't have a keyword for you guys today but if you make it all the way down to the video the keyword will be happy birthday warren that is my baby i'm so happy he he he's here with me so give him a shout out you guys and say happy birthday to him and you guys um if you are new to my channel please subscribe watch the video all the way through and i am going back to jamaica for my birthday you guys so i will try to record as much as i can then i'm not sure how i will be able to record my little gathering due to like the music and i don't want to get um pulled for it using music and then i can't show you guys the whole video so i'm not really sure how i will do it if you have some suggestions you guys suggestions you guys please let me know down below because i really do want to do the vlog for that on my birthday and my birthday party but i don't want to get poor for the fact that i'm you know having music in the background so see you guys please 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 Go to my IG, you guys, and follow my IG. I'm trying to build up my followers, please. My page is open. Doesn't take nothing but hit the follow. And, yeah, let me know you from my YouTube. I definitely will shout you out. All right, until next time, you guys. See you on my next video. Yeah. I knew it. I knew it. Oh, my God. <laughs> what did you know?